Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you wanted to play Diablo 2 Resurrected, which is the remaster, unfortunately this is not going to be playable on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac because no Mac version has been developed and the Windows version uses DirectX 12, which is not compatible with Crossover or Parallels. So unfortunately we're going to be playing the original version, which is the next best thing. So Diablo 2 used to have a Mac port, but it's not compatible with the current lineup of Apple Silicon Mac. So we're going to use the Windows version and play it on the M1 Mac using a piece of software called Crossover, which allows us to run Windows games on the Mac operating system. So if you have any trouble with this tutorial, you can also refer to an alternate tutorial where I show you how to install Crossover. This is my Windows gaming guide, so you can follow this if you also want to learn how to install Parallels, which is an alternate way of playing Diablo 2. So the first thing that we need to do is to click on the link at the top of the description, which takes you to the Code Weaver's website. If you make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So just click on this link. And then what you need to do is to press the crossover button here. And when you scroll down, what you can do is click the buy now button or you can try the software completely free for two weeks. If you use the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki, then you'll get a 25% discount. So click on the free trial, enter your name and details, and then click the download trial now. So you can download crossover here and press OK. So once the file is downloaded, just go to the downloads folder, double click on the zip, and then drag this into the applications folder. And then we can go ahead and double click to open up crossover. Now we're gonna download Diablo 2. Now I actually have the version from battle.net. However, you could technically use any kind of ISO or EXE file that you've got, but I'm gonna download this here. So this is one of those things where it's actually quite hard to find Diablo 2 actually on the website. So what you wanna be able to do is to use this link, which I'll leave in the description. This is going to allow you to download Diablo 2. So ignore the Mac version because this one is only 32 bit, which won't work on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So at this stage, in order to get up to date with Lord of Destruction, we need to download both of these files. We need to download the base Diablo 2 and also Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. So just go ahead and do that. So once the files are downloaded, we're going to open up Crossover. So I already have my bottle set up here, so you can just ignore all of the icons. What we need to do is to go to the bottom left-hand side here and click on New Bottle. So what I'm gonna do is create a Diablo 2 bottle. I'm gonna make it a Windows 10 64-bit bottle. Here, I'm gonna press Create. So next thing I'm gonna do is to click on my Diablo 2 bottle, and then we're gonna run Command and we're gonna to navigate to the Diablo 2 installer. So this is the base installer, which we're gonna double click on. And then we're gonna click Run. And here we're just gonna select the C drive. I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm just gonna call it Temp1 and press OK. And basically it's just going to download the installer files, which is a temporary folder. And we're going to run this afterwards. So just let that download. It's 1.49 gigabytes. This will depend on the speed of your internet. So once the installer is downloaded, we're gonna click the Install Diablo 2 button. We're gonna to agree to the licensing agreement. Then we're gonna type in a username and then we're gonna get our Diablo 2 CD key. So I'm gonna get this from the battle.net website. I'm gonna to go to my account settings. And then if I go to games and subscriptions, I will find my license key for my battle.net version at the bottom of this page, which I'm not gonna to reveal to you because it's gonna reveal my serial key. However, you can also go to account.battle.net forward slash games and I'll leave a link to this in the description. So just go ahead and copy and paste that key into the field here and then press OK. Then we're gonna let Diablo 2 be installed in the default location and press OK. So we're gonna close this window now. We're gonna run command again and run the other downloader. So I'm gonna to go to my downloads and download Lord of Destruction and then press run. Then I'm gonna go back to my C drive and put it into the temp folder again. So just let that download again. So once again, we're gonna click on the installer and then install Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. Press agree, got name again. And now we're going to enter our Lord of Destruction CD key. Just paste that in and press OK. So now that that's completed, we're gonna close this. And what you'll find if you try to play this straight away is that we'll have an error initializing. So press OK here. So what I found is that if you want to load this game, you can just control click run with options and then you can press dash W and this will run the game in a window. And if you want to scale it correctly, you can click on window here and then click zoom. And once you've zoomed out, you can full screen it and then it will be scaled correctly. It's 800 by 600 and it's stretched, but it still works correctly. Here I can just go ahead and create a single player character. I'm gonna make an assassin, make my character, press OK. And then, you know, I've got Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction working correctly. So I'm gonna quit out of this, save and exit. So what you'll find is that the battle.net open multiplayer won't work correctly. However, you can just go ahead and create a TCP IP game. And this is the local IP address. So if another user on your Wi-Fi or your LAN enters this IP address when they join game, then they'll be able to play multiplayer with you. Or you can also port forward your router. So I can just show you that this works correctly. If I, I can host a game, 
and uh, anyone can just join it if they have my public port forwarded IP address. So here we're playing the multiplayer version of the game. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to install a mod, for example, Project Diablo. So I'm gonna exit this now. So what we're gonna do is to log into our Project Diablo 2 account. Then we're gonna to go to the download button here and download the files. Once we've downloaded them, we're gonna select our Diablo 2 bottle again and then double click run command. Then we're gonna find our Project Diablo 2 installer, click open, click run. So this is our Diablo 2 folder. We're gonna install over it. It's installing some dependencies. So I've already created an in-game account, so I don't need to visit the website. And here we've got Project Diablo 2 as a shortcut. Another element that we need before we can actually launch this is to install a Windows application and we're gonna download dot. We're gonna download dotnet framework 4.6.1. You'll press continue. We wanna install it inside the Diablo 2 bottle. Press continue, press install. Here press next, accept, install. Then we click finish, accept, install. So then we click exit. So don't bother restarting, agree to the terms, click install, and then we click finish, restart later, then we press continue, accept, install, and then finish, restart later, now that's done. And then one of the last things that we have to do is to set up the D draw. So we need to click on the bottle here and then we can double click on wine configuration. So the default settings, we're gonna change this to Windows XP and click apply. In the libraries, we're gonna add a new override, D draw, click add here and press yes, click apply and then okay. Then double click on Project Diablo 2. And now this menu will load. So here I recommend that you switch some of the options around. You can go ahead and set the resolution of your screen. So mine currently is set to 1920 by 1080. If you have trouble getting this window off, we can just close this entirely and then reload it again. Here we're gonna press play. So now we can go ahead and log into our account. Click login. On create my Druid character, press okay. If you get an error message like this, I'm just gonna give the Diablo 2 permission. So give Project Diablo 2 permission to control the computer. Here we're gonna go back and press play again. Go into my character, I'll create a game. And now we've got a full screen Diablo 2 with a widescreen aspect ratio and we're playing online. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Diablo 2 Online is perfectly playable. We're using Project Diablo 2. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.